Uh, while Nav hands that sheet out, I'll explain what we're going to do. We're going to add some verifiable data to female fellows of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Now, the Royal Society of Edinburgh has been going up since 1783. In that time, it's had something like 4,000 fellows, but only 242 fellows are described on their website as being female. 242, not terribly many. Uh, on Wikidata, there are only 28 women uh, that have the statement awarded fellowship of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Only 28 out of the total number of 242. So Wikidata is missing a trick here and we're going to fix this. We're going to give out awards today. We're going to give out the statement awarded fellowship of the Royal Society of Edinburgh to as many different women on Wikidata as we possibly can. So what we've done is we've created batches of five and each person is going to work on one batch of five. So if I show you how this works by clicking onto the batches spreadsheet link here, you'll see that there are 44 batches. Now I'm going to work from batch number one just as a demo. So I think we'll maybe you'll allocate batches. Um, so maybe give Gavin batch number two. I, and so you'll each be given a batch to work on and I'll show you what batch one looks like. If I just click through to batch number one, you'll see that there are five names on this spreadsheet. Four of these names have a Wikidata item already. Further down, a fifth one has no Wikidata item at all. Now, I've taken all this information from a credible source. And you'll see that the third column links you through to the Royal Society of Edinburgh page for, that describes when they were elected a fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, gives a bit of description, and we have a URL link that we can use as our reference. So we're adding verifiable data to Wikidata. So if I go back to my sheet, how this works is if I copy this link from the spreadsheet and I remember that she was elected in 2017, I can create this statement manually on Wikidata by clicking on the link in the first column. So here we go. If I click on this first link, Q5361723, takes me through to Ilish Angiolini's page. And to add a statement to Wikidata, I'm just going to go down the page to see if award received already exists in her list of statements. Now, it does. She already has that statement there. If I hover over it, you'll say it's P166. That's the, that's the property we're interested in today. Now, to add another value to this particular statement, I just click this Add button. Now, if I didn't have, if I, let's imagine for a moment I didn't have that statement on the Wikidata item page, what I would do is I would keep scrolling down and when I reach the bottom or before the identifiers section you'll see this add button here. So if I'd click add and I would type award received and that's the description we're interested in. I would click on that and then we need a value and the value we're interested in is Fellow of the Royal Society. Now, be careful at this point because there is another Royal Society and we don't want to confuse the two. The one we're interested in is 
the Royal Society of Edinburgh. So that would be the property, that would be the value, but while we're here, we can also add a qualifier at the same time. Add qualifier. When was she elected? Now, the qualifier is point in time, and the year is on the spreadsheet. It was 2017. So there we go. So there's property, value for the property, a qualifier as to when she was elected. The only thing we're missing now is the reference as to where this information came from. And you'll see there's this button here, add reference. So I can click on that. And reference requires a property as well. And the one we're interested in is reference URL. And then I can put in the URL and just paste it in. So there's about one, two, three, four, five, six things you could just put in that would put in attributable, verifiable data and give this very nice lady an award that she merits. So credit where credit's due. And you can do that for the first four names on your list. The fifth one is an extension activity. And I can demo that just now. But are there any questions about that process? It's detailed on your sheet uh, in the blue and red sections, step by step. So hopefully that you'll be able to do the four net, first four names. Any questions at this point, or does it seem OK? No? OK. Um, now, I did mention that she already has the award received, so I'm not going to fill that in. I'm going to do, put all that information in that bit. So this is where I'm going to put it in. Th you'll see this time I don't need to put the property in, but I can just put fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, like so. Add the qualifier point in time. I, th I do think it says on the sheet point of time. Be careful with that as well. It should be point in time. And 2017, add reference, reference URL, paste. And then I can hit return or I can click the save button. So I'll just click save. Now, going back to my sheet, I can do the other three, Nicola Benedetti, Wendy Ann Bickmore, Sarah Brody, the same way. But the fifth and final one, I need to do a different step because they don't have a Wikidata item as yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this lady's name because this is going to be the English language label for our new item. And I'm going to click on this link here to create a new item. And you'll see this is what it looks like when you create a new item. It's asking you what language it's going in. We'll just keep it as English for now. And we're going to paste in a label that is going to be her name. We could add a uh, description. And I think on her page it says that she's a forensic uh, scientific researcher. Yep, forensic science researcher. So I could add, you don't need to do this part. As long as we have the data item, this can be added later. Forensic science researcher. And we're just going to click create. And that's created the item. But you'll see there's no statements. And it's very straightforward to add three statements we're asking you to put in. Instance of human, save, uh, add another one, sex or gender, female. You know, it's popping up actually with the automatic suggestions as you go. Like once you put in human, you'll find it's suggesting you. And 
So we're asking you just, if you are creating an item, just to add three statements. Instance of human, gender, female, and the final one is the one we're dishing out today, award received. Fellow of the Royal Society, not of the Royal Society, but of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, with a qualifier which should be 2015 and a reference. Uh, so, point in time. Two thousand fifteen and a reference add reference reference URL. So doing the same again as we did for our first four and just pasting in that link. Is that okay? We'll come round and help people to, to make sure. But for create four new items. Sorry, create statements for four existing items and create one new item with three statements. So that's your task. We'll do a bit of the batches, but then remember the batches spreadsheet is everyone, you just have to get that from the slides. Yeah, so if you click through to the batch spreadsheet from this slide here. And that's the link that will take you through to the batch spreadsheet. Have you given out numbers? Yes, everyone's got a batch number. Okay. So I think, unless I'm mistaken, we're good to begin. If you run, if you're particularly quick, we have more batches to give out. But uh, let's see how we go. This, this, is, this is showing off the data from our first editing session that we were doing the manual edits. Now, at the moment, this is actually, this is like a Wikipedia, this is a tool also written by the same guy who, uh, who wrote Quick Statements. And it will basically generate Wikipedia list articles with the data that you want from Wikidata. So once you set it up, it will update it every day. And any new data that comes in this list article will just magically uh, get better. So this is female fellow, fellows of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. At the moment, well, this is actually, yeah, this is all we've got before our refresh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to force the update instead of waiting until tomorrow. So we'll automatically update it now. And basically, this is running on a little query. I put in a little query for people who have the exact statement that you were adding, i.e. award received fellow of the Royal Society. So it says it's done. Better than the last tool so far. Um, return. And what I've done is I've sectioned it by place of birth. So actually what we have, I mean, unfortunately, most of them are born in one place, but at least we have now a few sections starting to develop. And we've got all of this, you know, all this data. We, we've added them to the list, but for a lot of them, they had all this additional data where they were educated, what are their occupations, all kind of stuff that you didn't personally add, but we made the link and now we can find it. Uh, and there's loads in this miscellaneous section, which was basically what it does is it, you know, I, I've put in a grouping criteria, so don't create a new chapter unless there's at least two of something. So we have lots of people who are born in one place or another. So we once, but the minute, you know, you do some more editing, someone else does, this page will just automatically sort of sort itself out and get better and better with time, which I find one of the lovely things about um, the automated nature of Wikidata and how it can kind of reduce effort, uh, you know, across thousands of thousands of editors doing the same work in all these different languages, you know. We could have these lists really just being happening automatically eventually. Uh, so... Um, yes, did we have, um, did we have, uh, what was that for this one here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, so this is our timeline format. This is now running the live query for, okay, so this is coming together. So let's filter gender female. Yeah, and of course, that's it, you know, if we wanted a map visualization, we need to know stuff about locations and birthplaces and stuff like that. Yeah, and if we want this, so... 
But it is lovely that, you know, the minute you've put this data in, the different viewpoints and angles and ways it can be combined. A lot of it is powered by the query service, but there are so many tools and things that you can use to, uh, to sort of in get insights and wow people with kind of, you know, the prettier side of data that it looks and, you know, tells you something rather than just sits there in tables. Uh, so I think that's pretty much the um, end of this first session, isn't it? Um, but what's nice is we didn't add any places of birth or indeed the coordinates of those places of birth because Wikidata already knew quite a few of them. The minute we've linked them up, we, we get you know, all that other data you know, helps us to get rich views on it. Uh, so yeah, hopefully in the coming weeks, those queries will just open, come better and better, and there should be a lot more data um, in them because we'll finish off all the editing projects that we've, we've started today. We'll certainly give you a few weeks in case anyone does want to return to their batches and finish off. <laughs>